there's a beautiful study that looked at protein intake at two different contexts. Someone who's doing resistance training. And then the other is if you dial up protein and they're sedentary, yeah. what happens to strength? What you see is increasing protein without resistance training. Doesn't do anything. Basically does nothing. 80 or 90%, I think, of the US population are not meeting the resistance training guidelines. So that's like the number one I think thing. That's generous. <laughs> yeah, that could be generous, but that's like the number one thing to address. Yeah. And you mean resistance, meaning strength training? Yes. There's a lot of debate around what's the best rep range. Personally, I think that that eight to 12 rep range is a good rep range because the load's not too heavy where you increase risk of injury for mm -hmm. people where the load's super heavy. I mean, that kind of four rep range where you need to be a much more experienced lifter to avoid injury. Also at the eight to 12, you get the added benefit of loading the skeleton. So you get the bone mineral density. You don't get as much if you're doing a lightweight and doing 30 reps. Yeah. So I do like the eight to 12 as a general heuristic, particularly for healthy aging. That means eight to 12 to fatigue, where the 12th one, it's like you can't do one more. An effective set of eight to 12 would be that those last two reps are within failure. You're getting two, a couple reps within failure. If you were to continue the set, you would only be able to maybe lift it one or two more times and you'd be losing form. Yeah, right. Is a good way of kind of looking yeah, at that. Yeah. And in terms of an intensity, you might describe that as like an eight out of 10. 